close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out, and then all the way in again and all the way out again. We're looking for happiness here. If you look for happiness in the world outside, you're going to come into conflict with other people. But if you look for happiness inside, there's nobody who's going to come and try to take your nose away from you or take your breath away from you. Your experience of your breath, your experience of your body as you feel it from within, that's totally yours. And you can develop it as much as you want, create as much well-being inside as you want. And it's not called greed. It's called initiative, taking initiative. You know, taking initiative in a way that nobody else is harmed. This is what's good about all the activities that have to do with merit. When you're generous, you gain the virtue of generosity. The other people gain things from you. They gain your help. When you're virtuous, the benefits spread around even further. Nobody has to fear that you're going to kill them or steal things from them or have illicit sex with their family members or lie to them or take intoxicants and destroy their things. In other words, you're giving safety all around. And you find happiness in that too. You develop the virtue of genera virtue of virtue, put it that way. In which you look at your own behavior and you realize there's nothing you've done that you have to criticize yourself for, nothing you've done that's in any way shameful or blameworthy. And there's a strong sense of self esteem that comes that way. And then of course there's meditation. This is entirely your area. So look for happiness inside as much as you can by developing these good qualities. And you find that you can wish for the happiness of everybody else in the world as well. If we each were to find true happiness inside, there wouldn't be any conflict. The reason we have conflicts is that people are trying to lay claim to things somebody else has already laid claim to and someone else wants to lay claim to. That way there's always going to be struggle. But if you're looking for a happiness that's peaceful and lasting, because after all, if your happiness doesn't harm anybody, there's no reason they're going to try to destroy it. If you want a really good long-term happiness, a happiness that you can rely on, you look inside, you develop good qualities inside. These will have to spill out in your actions. This way everybody benefits.